All right, folks, Tommy Coward here on the lawn with you today, and we're looking at an Arizona spruce we're going to plant. It's a very drought and heat tolerant tree to replace something that just really doesn't do very well in the Piedmont, white pine. Now, we've drenched these plants a couple of times with uh, organics. And these two seem to be a little more protected from the heat. And there's even one back here, a white pine that's even a little bit even more healthy. But what this year, this past year, 2019, was so hot with over 35 days, these plants really went into some stress last summer. This is not needle cast or any type of uh, fungal disease uh, this is this is really heat stress lack of adaption just couldn't handle it went into permanent wilt so what this is this tree is an arizona spruce carolina sapphire is the variety so what we'll do is plant that other one right here where it gets a lot of heat exposure in the summer like i said over had more calls this past year for problems with trees and heat stress, especially cherries like these. They usually lose their leaves sometime in July. And people are like, what's going on with these cherries? They're just the heat adaptability to our region. It's so hot and humid in North Carolina. All right, well, let's get started. All right, folks, well, you know how I like to roll. I use this reciprocating saw to sever the roots. It's got about a 12 inch blade. And I'm, I'm just really getting all these feeder roots that are coming out. Next step, come along. We're gonna use a come along and we're gonna tie it off and pull her over, pull it down. All right, folks, so as you can see, I've got the come along tied off to the tree, off to this tree. And all it is, is taking your come along and simply pulling her over. And you can see kind of a, some of the roots that I've taken. See how that's coming over pretty good, real easy. And uh, if you could see that, that was the major root that I was cutting through was that one. And maybe we can uh, do a autopsy on this guy. He's coming down gently and I'll start cutting it up here in a minute. But I just want to get it up and out and over. All right, folks, well, there you have it all chopped up into a nice, neat little pile. We can get in here and show you what this thing's... I've just got to clean it up, knock all the soil off of that with a king, the king of spades. Of course, featured in many of my videos from the W.W. Wright Manufacturing Company out of up in New Jersey. And that thing does all the work. All right, folks, let's get to knocking off this dirt. Well, folks, upon further investigation here, I'm seeing quite a bit of root rot on this tree. Now, there's a drain right here. This is a low-lying area. And the drain appears to be working pretty good. If you can see, this catch basin's catching water. Should be running on down to the back. But, you know, it was on a little bit of a berm. And I'm not saying it's, it was completely a root rot that caused the death of this tree. I'm more uh, leaning toward stress because these trees have been under some severe stress. Doesn't look like they were planted in properly or anything. Just uh, white pine and the Piedmont don't mix. All right, folks. All right, folks. Anybody seen any of my videos, you know how I like to show the hole that we use to plant the tree in, and it's a very big one. We use Osmocote and a lot of soil conditioner. 
and that's going in here. Now, one thing I also found out about this tree, the white pine, it was uh, planted with the basket on, the metal basket. They left it on. So there it was. And the jury is out. Some people believe if you leave the basket on, the plant will get girdled and die. And a lot of people say, no, that's not true. That will never happen. Because look at these guys. They're happy. And they've probably got the baskets too. This guy could have been a root rot because of, as indicated by the root rotting on the root, on the stump. And, or it could have been what I kind of suspect is stress. All right, folks, get this thing planted. All right, folks, end of the day, end of the day, end of the day. I got to say, I love this ego, uh, powerful blower. Just blew things up, clean up a little bit. There she is, Carolina Sapphire, Arizona Spruce. And they are popular now. Let's head on out. All right, folks, Tommy Cowett signing out. Have a great one.